Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough after watching Minon dance in the wind for many many hours we got ourselves a mini mission of finding the Aquamole's parts somewhere in the jungle. So let's drop way in the west end of the jungle. He doesn't know his way around, but... Oh, oh no, bug! Yeah, he's extremely scared of bugs, and sure enough, everything along the way now is bug-type Pokémon, so we will not be capturing anything, but we do have a different kind of mission here, avoiding things. Well, okay, not everything is uh, bug-type Pokémon, like that Trico there is not, so yeah, and whoops, what is it? So, that is a thing, but if, if we get caught by a bug Pokémon at any time, like, you touch a bug Pokémon, we get sent all the way back to this exact spot. Every time. So, we gotta be very good at evading the Pokémon. Luckily, though, the, the most difficult spots are probably the spots with the Beautiflies and Ariados. So, that is just something that you gotta look out for. There's a save point there. Not really a big deal. We don't even need anything to charge our stylus because... It's just gonna be released by the end of this anyway, and yeah, so there's a beautifly. They just kind of wander around randomly, and that's what makes them difficult to get past at times. They just might run into you, and there's the Ariados. They go straight for you. Do not, and I mean do not, oh geez, get in front of them because you will probably not be able to get away from them. Unless you're near the edge of the screen, you'll be able to do a black screen transition. Selcoons, you're just kind of hanging out there, just having a good time. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you go somewhere that is not going to hinder me. <laughs> Thank you, black screen transition. And those wormples are way too slow to make any sort of difference. And up we go. There we go. Um, Is there anything I want to see over on this side? Maybe, because I know the parts are up top, but I just want to see if I can... Oh, hello. You're not a bug type, but I can capture you, just for the sake of my <clears throat> browser. I was going to say Pokedex there for a second, but this is not a Poke... Oh, jeez, you do that twice in a three times in a row. What the... What is this baloney? Oh, wow, you are pretty quick, actually. And two, three, and yeah, I, could, ah, I should be circling in between those. Like, say that's... <laughs> Oh, shoot, I'm not used to circling counterclockwise. I shouldn't have done it that way. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'll get you eventually. I swear, I will get you eventually. Ooh, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so there's multiple ways to get that. You can circle in between its leaf attacking patterns, or you can just circle when you have a good, long enough opportunity to do so. Whatever, whatever. And you'll get yourself a bay leaf. And I just move my styler pointer, I should say, right off the screen. But that is okay. Because emulator doesn't know any sort of difference. <laughs> save point there. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why you would need such a save point. I mean, that just seems... Oh, jeez. That seems ridiculous. Like, why would you need a save point to retrieve some parts? That just seems silly. Oh, man. Poor Magikarp. Oh, oh, jeez. Magikarp everywhere. Oh, poor things. Uh, okay. You enjoy taking care of the magic. <laughs> so that's why there's a save point here. <laughs> and so, yeah, you may or may not want to, may or may not want to go and grab an electric way back over there. But, but I think I'll be okay. So let's just see here. Don't throw things in the pond. Protect nature and your reputation. Summerland Tourism Bureau. But yeah, I think I'll be fine as long as I can get those Magikarp carefully, because the Gyarados' attacks are pretty predictable overall. It just got a Hyper Beam type thing. Yeah, it just does that. Yeah, it's not, not really a difficult boss by any means. It's just a matter of that everything is everywhere. <laughs> that, that's the, just the main thing here. And then I'll be able to discharge when I get over to the Gyarados itself, or do the Styler attack. I mean, Styler Circle in between its own attacks, and yeah. You know, that might actually be a Hydro Pump and not a Hy Hyper Beam. Because it's a lot more 
frayed on the edges than uh, than a hyper beam is. Oh, oh, hmm. I'm just trying to carefully watch for the right times. I do believe Garrett also do quite a bit of damage to your Styler if you do uh, get hit by that hyper beam. So probably not a good idea to be too reckless with this. All right, do you do the hypers or whatever it is? Eh, or not? That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work lovely. <laughs> and I wasn't even circling at hyperspeed or anything there. I was just kind of going around the cap, uh, going around nice and casually there. And there we go. We finally got ourselves a magic carp for one thing. We also got a Gyarados to boot. We first seen their appearance back at the relic, but this is the first time we're actually able to catch one. But yeah, loop, 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 yank. <laughs> so the parts. We got those parts, and the Pokémon get released. Heck yeah! Good times! Poor critters. Poor critters. Everyone is okay, though. Everyone will recover. Just slap a band-aid on the boo-boo. And call it mission complete. Woo! Well, mission clear, as they say. <laughs> And black screen transition. No, thank you. <laughs> so, about that Aquamole. Can we repair that thing? Because then we could absolutely and officially not call it junk. <laughs> Alright. So, Aquamole to Windtown, if we can get that thing working. Alright, let's meet up with her. Aloof and chilly. <laughs> Of course, at a winter town, she'd be called Chili. Anyway, new dialogue? Anything? Anything? No? No? Maybe? Maybe? Mm. Yeah, a little bit of new dialogue, but yeah, my Styler is healed again. Cannot use her again. <laughs> I just want to take a little damage just to be able to show you that once, I swear. <laughs> I'll be able to do so eventually. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so... Klutzy or not, he'll get the job done, I assure you. And there's the mechanic. Is it done? Is it done? It sounds like it's done due to the excitement! Yeah, baby! <laughs> so, before we do that, let's take a peek see around the city one more time. Well, I should say vacation resort one time, just to see the new dialogue. And yeah. <laughs> It is kind of weird how that happened, but it can happen, I assure you. And nothing new in there. In fact, there's no one in there to even chat with. Anyone else got any dialogue about our fancy new Aquamole? Uh, <laughs> just a little too small for it, huh? Mm hmm. Alright, so yeah, you got the same dialogue as before. That is okay. Just have fun over there. You're somehow going to beat me there, probably. <laughs> I don't know how you'll pull that off, but yes, you probably will. Even though you'll be there in days, because I'm sure it won't take me days to get there. <laughs> Although it might, in terms of walkthrough parts. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I think I talked to that kid before, actually. Um, yeah, we heard about that. Interesting. Maybe it was formed by Gyarados. Who knows? Who knows? Like, maybe someone kicked the poor Magikarp and, yeah, turned into a Gyarados. Yeah. I wonder if that was actually a reference to the anime there. You know, how that one episode where James kicked the Gyarados because he got angry that he said it was useless after buying it from the Magikarp man. After getting the shipwreck of an SS Anne. Yeah, you know that episode if you've seen the first season of the series. I wonder if that's a reference to that. It probably is. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, this this game came w out way after the anime. And, you know, sometimes there's little references like that every so often in the games. And that, for one, might be one of them. <laughs> um, Fisher? Hmm... Hmm. Mm, yeah, that would be. <laughs> I'm still gonna hold off on the challenges until later on, because I still haven't beaten the game, so... There it is! There's the Aquamole! Yeah! Even polished! Like brand new! Yeah! I sound kind of like a Meowth there. Or even a Toad. <laughs> awesome! Made extra room for the puzzle. So wait, I can fit 
Solana and the Plusle. Well, not that one guy. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he just thinks it's smaller than it actually is. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it a try, I guess. At the very least, it could swim back up to the surface, I suppose. This is going automatically here, so it's like a cutscene of sorts. Can't capture the star you or star me, but we can dock over here with a magic arbor flopping about and read our text messages. Eh, yeah, it was. No dangers. Thank Arceus. <laughs> okay. Panula Cave. Got it. Alright. Mm, really now? Um, we're kind of stranded. Yeah, so we can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> At least for now, maybe we'll be able to use a Dragonite bus to get back and forth in the future. <laughs> in the future, uh, hmm. Well, it was—it's a very long story. In fact, it took many chapters. To <laughs> that makes sense. So many fish. So many fish. Hmm. How's it going there? Who are you? Chris, saying I'm Chris. Okay, I could read that your name was Chris, but all right, I shall follow you even though I don't know you in the slightest. That sounds like a good idea. And going down the spiral staircase, well, it's more like a spiral dock, and going into the cave. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I, sh <laughs> I, sh I shall. So let's just take a peek see around these parts and maybe we'll be able to find our way through here. Gotta beware of Jinx, beware of Pokemon. Well actually I shouldn't say beware of Jinx. We've got Pokemon that actually catch her on here. Because yeah, by the way, if you get hit by those, um, you'll actually be knocked back. Um, I'll, I'll show you that just this once here. Hey Jinx. Hey Jinx. I, at least I, I think you get knocked back. Don't you get knocked back if you if you touch the lovely kisses or whatever uh, uh, I don't know hmm, maybe not <laughs> it seems ultimately harmless but anyway what I'd like to do is capture that snow runt so capture I shall ooh that was easy <laughs> I reacted in time with nice smooth circles and had a nice successful capture there we go oh and I never did show the ghost poke assist back over at the dusk factory did I Huh, well, I'm sure I'll have more opportunities. <laughs> oh, Goldbath, I need you. I need you along with that Wismer and the Raichu. And there's so many new critters to catch, it's unreal. Oh, oh mm, mm. come on, come on. Relax, relax. I know you're frightened, but it's okay. I'll capture you and everything will be okay. There we go. Now we can be best buds forever. Just don't, I'm not gonna let you suck my blood though. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a double guster. But we also got a poison poke assist. Not very useful. Well, I guess it is kind of useful, but I mean, it's not as useful as, say, a fight, fighting or a fire would be against um, the ice Pokemon around these parts. Ah, capture you and run. And I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do here is go all the way up to the top and then do the jump downs. Because I need to do some specific moves to actually get to that thing. Um. Uh, I will, don't worry. Oh, what the? Oh, jeez! Cave in! Get to the door. Uh, oh, okay. We're, we're okay. Hmm. Okay. So first, I'm gonna hop down here. This is like another wing to it. This leads to a Wismer. Oh, shoot. The gold back got in. Eh, well, maybe I can... Yeah, poopers. Because the Wismer doesn't take that many circles, and I'll just capture the uh, Golbat normally once it calms down. There we go. Oh, poopers. I just had to touch it. Don't do any gusts, please. Oh! No gusting today. Thank you. <laughs> Whew! There we go. By the way, our, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say it now, but someone already mentioned in the comments that something, a really difficult, I mean, a boss that people have a lot of difficulties with is coming up. So, uh, I recommend that you use the save points as you see them fit, because it is coming, and oh, you know what, that's actually kind of handy that Golbat kind of popped in there, because now I don't have to jump down the other path that you've seen for that Jinx. Um, 
Oh. How many does it take? Ah, oh, poopers. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get that in time. Yeah, oh man, this might actually be more complex than I thought. Can I get you? Maybe I can get you. Uh, who can I get? Everyone requires so many circles and everyone attacks so frequently. <laughs> and also everyone seems to overlap each other so often. Okay, I got that one. Now for the other one. Calm yourself. Stop lovely kissing. Yep. No more lovely kisses. Save your kisses for the bedroom. <laughs> there we go. Woo! So I got a jinx now, which I'd have to get otherwise. There's a merch you can get down that way. But what I want to do is jump down this route here for this Raichu. There we go. It's got the power to refill your styler quite a bit. So let's try and get this bad. Oh, try and get this bad boy. It doesn't require too many circles, but it's fast. So you gotta be do the doing the loop the loop springs to get it. Because you gotta finish your loops before it touches your line and then continue on your loop along a different line. Ah, uh, I got so many gold bad, it's crazy. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Now we gotta go back down the other path here. Well, I should say the main path here, because all I wanted to do there was capture the Pokemon that I have not yet captured before to fill out my browser. And up we go. Next save point I will be saving and quitting by the way because this cave is pretty big. So yes. <laughs> um, over here I think is the way for... Mm, hold on. If that's the way forward then I want to go and take the side routes first. Yes. Oh! Metacham! These things are really handy. Uh, when you use their Poke Assist in battle, they will count as two instead of just one. Like, ah! So, say, if something takes ten loops to capture, you'll be able to capture it in five. Very, very handy. So capture all the Metacham you see, and get those bad boys added to your party. Plus, you know, you gotta add them to your browser, too. <laughs> Alright, snow runt, you know I got one of those before. Moving on. Now this is interesting. Steelix is asleep. It's in the way. So if we go in here and take a peek see over here, Steelix is taking the role of Snorlax. <laughs> so you need something wet and wild to get past that Steelix. So we can't do anything on that path right now. Uh, we will be able to get it, like say, get something else on another path. You know what? I should capture this Pikachu here. It's got a good recharging power. I know I got the Raichu as well, but eh, let, as I was saying, there's there's a pretty pretty good boss coming up here. Um, uh, how will I redo it? Probably, yeah, that's got nothing and nothing. So bye bye Wizmer. <laughs> uh, yeah, Salt Rock, you've got Psychic Poke Assists. You're more useful than the Wizmer. Uh, solar Flare! I, that's how I see it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I got myself a Silver Rock. Yeah. New browser entry. And, and I'll drop the other gold bats. Yeah, you've seen the poisons before. Let's see if I can get this Polyrath here. Oh shoot, actually, I need, I need, I need Metacham for that. Because I want to get something in another room. But I need the Polyrath in this room to wake up the Steelix and get it to move. Uh, actually, oh, I should take this opportunity because there are Poliwhirls around here as well. Uh, which you've seen me capture before, but the, it's the issue of that... There is ah, the thing of that if the, if the Poliwhirls get in with the Poliwraths, well, just one Poliwrath, I should say, it will kind of hinder our our progress here. And, oh, that was just a total fail on my part. You know what? You know what? You know what? Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll save that, actually. I'll use the Pikachu instead because it's closer by to be able to capture another and if I'd like plus it's closer to the actual amount of my styler that it'll recover oh, mm, I just keep circling too wide okay 
Yeah. Mm. Mm. Notice I favor going around clockwise, but sometimes I gotta reverse for certain things. I, like, depending on the looping angle that I need. I can circle both ways in a relatively decent success. I just prefer clockwise. And you're gonna run before I'm gonna be able to capture you, aren't you? Because, <laughs> yeah, it's just every time I need, I need to bait it with some circles. And, oh, it ran. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't. No, 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 don't get in. <sighs> Got in. <laughs> well, actually, maybe it won't be that difficult. Mm, it will be difficult. <laughs> Gonna do three water attacks. I'm gonna just bait you off to the side there. Ah, poopers. I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to reset this. And what I want over here is just this Wobbuffet <laughs> over on this side. So let's see if the other Pokemon on the other side on the other side will kind of flip-flop back in place to a more convenient way. And I love the Wobbuffet, it actually ex expands like the a punching bag balloon type thing it is. Yeah, as you circle it, it's kind of funny. Alright, so let's see here. Don't get in the fray. Okay, there we go. Come on, Polyrath, we I can do this. And let's do some super circles. <clears throat> I mean, by super circles, I mean super speed circles. Oh, poopers. Mm. It's Polyrath. I need you. But yet, you are a total pain. Ah. <laughs> Fine, I'll do a discharge. Because I'm just having trouble predicting which way it's gonna... Which way it's gonna do the water attack for me to stop circling with my Styler on its side. That's kind of my issue going on there. Yeah, I know. I, I understand the way you're supposed to do it, but I, the way that I generally do the polygraphs is just to power through it like that, because it's just so hard to predict which way the uh, which way that stinker is going to actually be facing when I when I finish one of my circling sprees. So yeah, let's take a peek. See over on this side. No, no, nothing, nothing. You can you can jump in the water if you'd like. I know you're frightened. There you go. Just don't run into me along along the way. <laughs> Alright, now, now we can go back. I'd like to re-grab that Metacham back at the other route if you don't mind. Metacham's very handy as I said. So with the power of fighting, let's get another one here. You enjoy doing those shockwaves all day long, but otherwise you are pretty easy to catch. <laughs> Yeah, and oh shoot, yeah, I gotta reorder. I'll drop the Soul Rock because I got the the Wobbuffets, and Wobbuffets are more fun than Soul Rock's IMO. <laughs> All right, let's go wake up the Steelux and get it to move. Yeah, there, buddy. Would you mind uh, getting out of the way there? People have got to pass through here, and I'll just give you a little sprinkle. <laughs> there we go. And voila! Clear! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Gotta go through that way, I guess. Eh, wait, that was its burrow? The actual path forward was its burrow? Anyway, <laughs> since I said I'm gonna stop at the next save point, look at this, it's the next save point, so I'm stopping here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through Panela Cave. <laughs>